Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Next match, Cross Balanced Cup. Uh, so let's take a look. We have a uh, next matchup here in Group C. Uh, both are, uh, at least both of these decks, um, they're out of the tournament. Let's, uh, you know, let's be real. Both Tango Plant and Insectors will be moving on. Uh, we'll see in the next matchup, next video, which deck, um, you know, will end up first place. Because that's our next matchup, right? Uh, but this one, we have uh, Chainburn from uh, 2017 from Worlds, right? I believe it was also Ryan Useless, the winner of the Dragon Duel uh, Championship back then. And it's going to take on good old Lightsworn, Lightsworn slash Twilight back in 2009, one of the best decks. Uh, there was some Seki, you know, mm, variants, I guess. Uh, for this particular deck, but it took the format by storm, uh, pretty much because of Tragodia. Again, one of those hand traps that nowadays uh, is not that great, but back then was, um, you know, mind blowing because a lot of people, you know, were main making those spell and trap destruction uh, or spell and trap hate. But uh, stuff like Tragodia was uh, was fantastic for that. Uh, plus, it's a dark, so you could like go for Twilight, run Chaos Boss Monsters, uh, Sorcerer, for example, right? Anyway, so uh, problem though is is that. Um, I'm. I was about to say maybe a bit greedy. Is greedy the correct word? But I think that you definitely, in case of Lightsworn, you want to mill. Obviously, but uh, going first against a stall deck, it's a problem. You can deck out. The uh, deck out could be very real. Plus, uh, monster zones. Monster zones uh, free space to uh, special summon like uh, a JD. Judgment Dragon to blow up the entire board. Uh, it's also very real. I need to, like what happens here, I think I banished a uh, Lumita, right? Um, but again, like going first, I, I think that that was the correct opening. Double Lumina plus Garroth plus potential. It's like six mils plus double mils of, ga um, of Garroth plus potential draws. Again, that's fantastic. Uh, so Beckoning Light, um, you know, discard your entire hand and then gain or uh, add back the, the same amount of uh, light monsters equal to the amount you discarded lights. Uh, well, you know, cards discarded. Uh, anyway, so go for magical android. Android is cute. It's just a generic level 5 synchro. Uh, it does get, uh, what is it, 5? 600 life points? Or, uh, 600, yeah, during the end phase, but uh, you know, you're not going to make that against um, um, so, um, a solid burn deck that has like access to card demise and that, you know will uh you in this case secret blast just desserts chain st strike i was well aware that i wasn't going to win this one i needed my side deck and uh very conveniently back in the old school days side decking stuff like uh dust tornado uh, royal degree definitely was a super staple back in the old school days because of this because of stall decks you know gravity bind burn decks um, uh, final countdown decks you didn't really want to lose against those uh, even against oppression, right? That was somewhat popular as well. So I can immediately blow my opponent away with the end phase royal degree, and that should be my duel either. Well, no. Are there outs for degree? I'm not sure. Are typhoons there? If then typhoon is an out, but I know the what should I call it? The uh, the time lord, the the blue one. You know that the one that when it like battles, it will send all of your opponents back row. I think back to the deck. So that's an answer for uh, for a royal degree, but not in this game. So game okay, number three, and this is delicious, right? Your your opponent setting like multiple cards face down, and even though you know everything is chained, I can't uh, you know enter my battle phase or declare an attack. Um, I do get some burn damage. It's fine though because again, chain burn only have a one card. You should be. You know, this is a super advantage position in case of light swarm, right? But the last card is a uh, card of the mice into pot, so that that is definitely a problem into another pot. So that's like the perfect comeback play after um, you know that that devastating heavy storm. And here is the card that I was talking about, the Time Lord Zephion, I believe the name is. Yeah. So luckily for me, no roll degree, but it was a beckoning light. I think is a Judgment Dragon life. I'm not sure. So drop Celestia. Celestia is basically an, 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 an Mobius here in this case. Well, it pops two cards from your opponent and then nulls four, right? Um, so it's cool. Well, I believe the the milling is a cost. Yeah, that, that that's from what I remember back in the old school days. But uh, I mean, this deck has those built-in destruction cards like Lila, Celestia. Um, Judgment Dragon, you know, Kale Sorcerer, if that makes sense, to hit those Time Lords, for example. So that that's already cool. This deck main decking some answers for that, but in game number one, you saw that, you know, Light Swords had like no chance. And uh, again, Degree, you know, steals the game again as it uh, as it has done in the previous duel as well. So game number four. 
Again, Open Storm, so that's delicious, right? Uh, Lila as well, so a potential follow up play. Hit back Jack. Okay, that's cool. No back row. So, um, I mean, with Chainburn, you need to play conservatively. No, you can't really set everything, especially lose like a big blowout to a heavy storm. Uh, okay, you can chain, but I mean, that's something you definitely don't want unless you have Card of the Vice. And here, <laughs> I attack into Dice Jar. You know, like roll a dice and. What is it? The player that lows the that, that rolls the lowest will get the burn damage, uh, you know, equal to the, the the ice, you know, on the dice uh, that the opponent rolled. I believe it's something like that. So it could potentially deal six k. I think. You no, know, if you roll a six, it's something like it. it's a huge heavy cost. But um, you know, getting it off, especially nowadays, the flip effect is just too hard. So again, heavy storm for the big blowout. Can get a threatening roar. It's fine. No backjack is there. Um, can I attack? Uh, or didn't I hit a roar? Or was it a standard burn card? I don't know. Anyway, the roar is activated here, so it's fine though. Get some mills. Uh, keep in mind potential deck out. I guess I could blow up my, my board. Uh, bar Judgment Dragon, as you know. You, you could do that. Blow up your own board. And here the Time Lord is actually gimmicky. It cannot be destroyed. No damage. But I rip Sorcerer. Ah, delicious, delicious, delicious. So banish the phase of monster. Uh, is it on the field? I think it's on the field. Uh, so I can, you know, deal damage and eventually attack our game. So as you saw, I feel that in game number one, Light Swarms didn't really have a chance. Um, even though it's, you know, main making so many spell and trap destruction, uh, Celestia, Lila, uh, Judgment Dragon. But the stall cards were, Jeff, were, were also, you know, a big problem, potential deck out. So, but yeah, in game two, three, four, you had the side deck cards. And that's why the side deck is there, uh, you know, proving it's uh, coming in very, very clutch. So, next matchup. Um, both of these decks are sitting at six points. So, both Tango Plant and Insectors both have six points. So, I have... There's only like, I think, one year a difference between both these decks. So in all honesty, I have... No, no, I'm, I'm maybe leaning a little bit more towards Insectors, but I think we've seen in the past that uh, Tango Plants, it's basically a full uh, engine deck, um, you know, all the, the good the good staple dot deck, very similar to the old school Goat format deck. So I think we don't, at least we can't, uh, you know, rule out Tango Plants just yet. So. But I feel that if we take a look at, you know, both decks, side deck, I feel that Insectors should have a slight advantage over Tango Plants. But like always, feel free to leave your prediction in the community tab, but no bias, no bias, right? So, okay, uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.